we know prime and composite numbers next we can study the prime factorization of composite numbers for example we can start the number 18 how we can find the prime factors of 18 for that just you divide this this number by prime numbers that is 18 you are dividing by the number 2 and what you are getting here 9 next you are dividing by 3 so you are getting again 3 then again with 3 you are getting 1 so you have to divide by prime numbers till you are getting the number 1 so you know the answer you got 18 equal to 2 into 3 into 3 again if you are doing this work by starting with 3 what you are getting 6 again you can divide by 2 you are getting 3 again with 3 you are getting the number 1 so what is the answer you got now it is 3 into 2 into 3 ok again 18 you are dividing by 3 and you are getting the number 6 again with 3 you are getting the number 2 again with the 2 you are getting the number 1 so the answer you got which is 3 into 3 into 2 so you have done the prime factorization in three different ways the division you have done in this these different orders but the answer you can see 2 into 3 into 3 2 coming one time and 3 coming two times the same answer you are getting here also 2 one time 3 two times and here also 3 two times and 2 one time so the same answer you are getting you have done the division work different orders but the answer is same so you got the answer 18 equal to you know 2 coming one time only and 3 coming two times so you have to represent the prime factorization of 18 as 2 into 3 square 3 coming 2 times means you can represent as 3 square and 2 first the next 3 that is ascending order of prime factors you are finding the prime factors in any order you can do the division but final representation is in the ascending order of prime factors so you got the answer 2 into 3 square and now you have studied one important theorem. That is our first theorem. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic. What is that then? The prime factorization of any composite number you can do in any order. But the answer is same. That is every composite number can be expressed as or factorized as the product of prime numbers, prime factors, and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur. Only difference is the occurrence of prime factors. The same answer you will get. Okay. So which is our first theorem. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Which is stated as. See that. Every composite number can be expressed or factorized as the product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur. This theorem we can say, we can state in another way, in simplest way that is prime factorization is unique. This theorem having so many applications.